Hi everybody, this is Qi Chen, and today um, me and Jia Chen Liu is going to present for uh, pro project three, and I'm going to responsible for one and two, and Jia Chen is going to responsible for uh, three and four. Now here is our uh, problem one, and uh, the target for problem one is just to calculate the expected value of the function. And uh, the idea is first we generate 10,000 body motions path from uh, time zero to three and uh, distribute every path into uh, 10,000 parts. And uh, after that, we extracted W3 from those uh, samples and calculate their mean value. And uh, the result after the code and calculation, the result is 3.2179. And furthermore, we plot the first five paths of our 10,000 samples. And uh, on the right hand side, here is the, the graph that we have. We got from the from the code. And uh, from there we can say we can see that the the, the expected value is like uh, continuously increasing as this line shows uh, during the whole process from uh, zero to from zero to three. And uh, we can say that the every single path has big difference from uh, with each other, just like this. Here is uh, problem two. And according to the uh, problem, we can, we just, uh, the target is just to get the uh, expected, expected value of the, uh, the Brown geometric Geometric Brownian motion ST. So according to the, the problem, we can see that the ST is a geometric Brownian motion. Then by the definition, the ST is equal to this uh, equation. This one is the solution. Uh, and uh, from the equation, we have the drift value, we have the volatility, and uh, the S0 is equal to 90. So by the theory, uh, by, by the theory of ETO process, we have the uh, expectation, expected value, uh, expected value of ST is equal to this equation, and uh, we have the 97.4958 is the uh, equation, uh, is the answer of the, is the theoretical answer by the, uh, by the formula. And uh, then, and then we use the code as before as the last question, and we generate ten thousand running motions and uh, distribute it into ten thousand steps. And this time, the time is from zero to two. And uh, after uh, after the uh, after we run the code, the expected value is ninety seven point one zero five seven, which is pretty close to uh, ninety seven point uh, four nine five eight. And then as then before, we just uh, plot the first uh, five paths of the 10,000 uh, Brownian motions. And we can see this are, I think these are five possibilities of the stock, the train the, of the stock. And we can say the mean value of the process is, uh, is uh, about 97. So um, as the, the number of running motion, if, if we set the number of running motion uh, bigger, bigger enough, I think is ultimately going to be same as 97.4958. And if the simul if the number of uh, Brownian motion Brownian motion if we set the number of Brownian motion less a little bit lesser around five thousand then I think then the run the result will be ninety six something so um, I think ultimately it will be matched the uh, the theoretical answer of ninety seven point four nine five eight. Uh, now I'm going to pass to uh, uh, Jia Chen for problem three uh, three and four. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jiaqin Liu and uh, today I'm going to talk about problem number three and number four in project three. Uh, so in problem three, we are going to evaluate the following expected value and the probability where the ETOS process X involve uh, according to the following SDE uh, where W is the uh, winning process. So in this problem, first, we're going to evolve the standard uh, uh, Winnie process of WT. And then we are going to split the time interval into N small pieces. And uh, then we are going to use these two expressions, dxt and xt, uh, where x not equals to one. Uh, 
to find the process of xt from t equal to zero to t equal to three. Uh, so uh, this whole process is in the form of a vector m times n. So what is m? m is the number of passes tests that we get and n represent the number of pieces that we split for the time interval from zero to three. So for example, if m equal to 10,000, then we have 10,000 passes. And uh, if n equals 500, then we have 500 in, uh, small intervals in this time interval. Uh, here is the result. Uh, you can see the blue line here is the mean of the 10,000 pass. It's a looks like a straight line, but it, it has a little bit decreasing trend. And the, the three uh, yellow curves are the, uh, are three interval uh, are three individual pass among all the 10,000 pass. So it's just three of them and. Um, after we simulate, uh, simulate this uh, process xt, then we can compute the expectation of x3 to the power of 0.4. Uh, just simply use the function mean, function mean in Mat MATLAB. And then for the probability part, we just simply counted the number of outcomes that are above two and uh, calculate the proportion of them. Uh, so here is the result. We, we create a table here. Uh, so we have the expectation and the probability. So for uh, three different uh, combination of M and N. So basically we can see that the, uh, the expectation is around 0.82 and uh, the probability is around uh, 0.2 to 0.3. So that's it, that's problem number three. Hi, uh, so for now, I'm going to talk about problem number four. And in problem four, we are considering this following SDE. And uh, for part A, we're going to simulate the uh, stochastic process using the uh, discretiz uh, discretization scheme of Euler. And for part B, we are going to compare uh, it with the uh, uh, analytical solution. So first step, we're going to solve this PDE under the scheme of uh, uh, Euler. DST equal mu dt plus sigma dwt. And then we take uh, the integral for both sides to get s sub t plus dt. And uh, for the first integral, if we utilizing uh, Euler discretization will get uh, uh, mu st dt. And for second integral, we can get uh, sigma times square root of dtz. So based on that, we, we can get uh, the uh, Euler solution, which is the third expression. And then based on that, we can actually obtain the numerical solution which is the uh, right dotted line right here in this picture. And uh, we can see that at t equal one, uh, we have the numer numerical solution is 93.0533. And uh, this is part, what, part A. And uh, for part two, we are going to compare it with the analytical uh, solution. As we can see in this graph, the blue curve indicates the analytical solution and the red dotted line again indicates the numerical solution. And we can see that both of them are pretty close to each other. And um, uh, next we are going to see the uh, comparison between these two solutions. And uh, at t equals one, we can see the solution for analytical solution. Uh, the result is 94.03. And for the Euler solution is 93.0533. And uh, 
Therefore, we can compute the absolute error, which is 0.98235. And uh, we can see the error is pretty small. It's very small uh, compared with the result. Uh, 